Hi, everyone. We're broadcasting from Slim and Main Stadium, home of the Terra Bay Mutineers. A lot of Mutineer fans enjoying some good tailgate fun out in the parking lot. Yeah, but instead of tailgates, they got planks, and they're making the other kids' fans walk off into a shark tank. Like I said, good old fun in the parking lot. Let's play some mutant football. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Bring your faces to me. <laughs> it's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally, you don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Nine, nine, one, nine. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down and, well, good nine, luck. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato 
Championships. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Second down and long. He's not going down. And he's off to the races. And it's first and ten. You've got to love a player who goes down fighting. <laughs> Second down and seven. Cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. I don't know which way. Ah, yes. <laughs> and it's first and ten. here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake and the easiest play in the league and he chokes yeah, he's a choker he's a midnight smoker they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck off that was just a one-time thing That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. On one, on two, eight. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. <laughs> Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. One, hot two, hot three. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the big six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent pump. He's got the ball now and he's going to try and score. Oh, and he looks 
like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. That pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. Third down and ten. says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. point and the easiest play in the league and he chokes yeah, he's a choker here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them they're going to be able to return this one in his path. He refuses to go down. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't say I'm the greatest. 
It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Second down and more than the QB would like. I won. I... Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and one. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he slips that one in there for a touchdown. You know, in the pre-apocalypse, they would flag this kind of thing. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. And this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. <laughs> Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket and creates. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Air balls! Hey, did we start letting ghosts into the NFL grim? No, nah, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Sandwich. 
Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot tight. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag. He's killing me in fantasy. Man. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey in an Irish wing. You know, my wife went to Scotland. She came home with a Scottish tapeworm. Not a big eater, though, so that's good. More of a drinker, really. I was stopped by 18 year old McCallum the other morning at the breakfast table. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. He's not going down. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, hey, it looks like we've got a penalty here. Third down. They use their second. 
in timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. First and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and two. Rumbling and stumbling. He could go. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks' match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? Our carnival? <laughs> I'm gonna ruin it. Why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. times on each occasion not surprising and trust me that hit was worse and it's first and ten and i've had it. i'm running out of excuses for this qb if that hit didn't cripple him it certainly left skid marks It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. 
First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have been. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. My first like that. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot Receiver and deflected the ball. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot two. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Hey. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. <laughs> and it's first and ten. So much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Bricks, they're going for two here. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The burn 
punt returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I roll. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. for two points. He caught it. That's two points and even more momentum on their side. I can feel the momentum shifting. For the last time, you're not a Jedi, Bricks. comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. So I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. They oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Nice deflection. <laughs> Second down and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat us. Not until he's cooked. <laughs> Second down and long. And with another pick, the cue. Oh, what a punishment. 
finishing his dad was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. somehow and hold on for the first down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. First and ten. It's an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the NFL. Second down and ten. And he's off to the races. First and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and nine. And there's another pick. Oh, that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to cover his math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable. 
people giving them a side. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the party. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Yo, seriously, man. You think you can go toe to toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, Spill a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Second down and a lot. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The Mutineers win at home by forfeit. And who says nothing exciting ever happens in Terra Bay? Hell, other than the uh, NFL, I mean. Um, were you talking to me, Grim? I wasn't listening. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. An alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Or how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. I'm a, I'm a devil. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.